like the effect on your lats, it's immense, it's really insane. Many injuries, they happen because the shoulder is not on the most stable place. Many people, they, they walk kind of like this, right? So when you start to train, it uh, doesn't matter really what, then it's likely that, that the movement from this position uh, doesn't work or you get uh, sore muscles or ligaments or whatever uh, because it's not stable, right? The, the starting point is not stable. So the foundation, yeah, is to keep your shoulder here, is to keep your shoulder in place. And um, we do this first exercise, I'll turn around. And you, you just start on your knees and you, you bring your, your hands a bit wider than shoulder width, like, like this more or less, and you bring in your elbows, you see this? Make sure, if you can do this, if you really can feel this technique, it may uh, take like uh, one, two, three times, but you have an awesome, awesome workout, yeah? So you start on your knees, yeah? Then you just place your, uh, place your hands and you bring your elbows towards each other while keeping your shoulders uh, really low, so the shoulders stay in place. And if you do this now, also because I trained, but you already feel the lats, right? Your, your latissimus dorsi. So here, here I feel if you can, if you have this position, you can have tiny, make tiny push-ups here. And just that is a massive training. Now I do the technique right away because I, I trained it for a bit. But if you're not used to it, you have to really get into it, right? So practice, and you should feel it here, right? So this muscle, really, the lats, they can uh, pull your shoulder down, right? Do you see that? Like, now I pull my shoulder down. So from here, you have a really stable position to do anything, any sport. So it's really good for your joints, yeah? So once again, now I go to the next step. It, if you have mastered the first step, do this. Yeah, you go to a downward facing dog, but, but watch my legs, they are bend, bended, and my arms are bended. My back is straight, yeah? Have a look. So you go here, bottom up, looks nice, doesn't it? <laughs> here, bend your legs. Now, just to get in this position is really hard, yeah? It, it, it should be, be tough. If, so here, and now I bring my shoulders in, or my elbows inside and I squeeze, I push my elbows really hard together. You can also use a block or a cushion, a pillow, whatever, a bottle, I don't know. Just something to hold in between your elbows, yeah? And then also from here you can do push-ups. <laughs> but now I'm really tired, so, so I have to stop. But, because um, I did this like a million times. This is like when you have practiced fitness or you did some pull-ups, like the effect on your lats, it's immense. It's really insane. <laughs> it's, it's, I, would, I would compare it like, like a few of these push-ups, maybe with uh, 10 times um, lat machine pull-ups, you know? Uh, and, and it can be really tough. The next level is go, go against the wall uh, into a handstand and then do the push-ups. You get like, to be honest, I got my lats back because of this exercise. <laughs> like I just really, let me show it from the front, all right? So from here, from here, yeah, you widen your um, hand position a bit and then you go here. You, you bring your elbows in. Good luck with it. Capo flow, let's go and do some joint muscle stabilization work. Yeah, let me know what you think of it.